Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to back up a Linux PC to an SMB share and that SMB share will be hosted on a Synology NAS. I created a few videos that already show you how to do this using rsync, but the big difference is that Veeam allows you to create a bare metal backup, which means that you can complete a bare metal restore. If you're not interested in actually completing a bare metal backup, it's probably a good idea to just set up rsync, so I'll leave those links in the description. I'll also leave a link with full written instructions in the description as always. I also want to mention that this tutorial in specific is for Ubuntu and Debian based machines. So if you intend on using something else, you'll have to look up the commands because they're slightly different. So since we're doing this on a Synology NAS, our destination will be a Synology NAS. We need to ensure that our Synology is allowing SMB3 connections because that's what Veeam actually uses. So after doing that first step, we're also going to go and install the SIFS utils package on our Linux PC, and this is required for Veeam as well. So now that those two prerequisites are done, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to install Veeam. Now to do that, we have to head over to the Veeam website and we have to download the Veeam agent for Linux package. So once we have that downloaded, we're going to navigate to our downloads folder, and then we're going to run a few commands to install Veeam. Now once Veeam is installed, all you have to do is type in Veeam and it will bring up the application. And at that point, you have to accept the license. So at this point, you're going to kind of walk through the steps and we're going to have to configure our backup job. And when we do that, we have to give our backup job a name and a backup mode. In this case, I'll be backing up my entire machine. But the important point here is the destination. So for the destination, since we're using an SMB share, we have to select shared folder and I'm going to put the IP address of my Synology NAS. At this point, you're also going to have to put the folder where you want the actual backup stored and the credentials you'll use to access that SMB share. You'll then specify a schedule as to when you want this machine to back up. And at that point, you'll be able to finish the configuration and it will start the backup job. So now that the backup job is completed and it's backed up to our SMB share, we're going to look at two different ways that we can recover our files. So the first way is actually on the host machine where we just scheduled the backup job. And what you can do is you can press R to recover your files. And what it will do is actually mount that backup file as a separate folder and you'll be able to access all of your files in that specific backup. Now, if you have to actually complete a bare metal restore, you'll have to go to the Veeam download page and you'll have to actually download the Linux recovery media. If you'll be restoring this machine to a hard drive, you'll have to create a USB drive, a bootable USB drive. But if you're actually restoring it to a virtual machine, you'll only need that ISO file that you just downloaded. But when you boot into it, you'll have to accept a license again. And then at that point, we're going to restore our volume because we're actually restoring the entire operating system at this point. Once we do that, we're going to add a shared folder and we're going to enter the same SMB information that we did earlier. And we're going to be using this to access our backup file. After we do that, we're going to browse to our backup file and we're going to restore our entire disk at that point. So you'll have to go through all the different settings and specify where you want to restore the backup file to. Once you do that, your restore will start and when it's done, you'll be able to reboot your system and it will be the exact same as it was earlier. So that's the entire process of downloading and installing Veeam, configuring the job and then accessing the backup files and doing a bare metal restore if you have to. For certain people, this will be a little bit of overkill because you might only want to back up your home folder and for that, something like rsync is perfect. But for a lot of people, Veeam is great. So that's the tutorial for today. Give it a thumbs up if this helped you out. Leave any questions you have in the comments. And if you like the content, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you for watching.